beginning of recording three, two. Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Just Gaming and today we are back with some more Pokemon VGC 2016 and uh, we're, this is the last episode with the Mega Aegron team. If you guys haven't uh, used it yet, the link for the paste bin will be in the description below and also if you've enjoyed this team be sure to hit that like button and uh, let me know in the comments what you thought about it and if you want to see any new Pokemon um, <clears throat> or strategies. Now, there may be a little bit of extra background noise in today's video because they are working right outside of my house, on or outside my window, on the yard. Um, and then also our AC is on, and the unit that produces all the cold air in our house is in my bedroom. So, um, ho hopefully it's not too overbearing. I can kind of hear right now, I just did shut the door, so it's hopefully better. We actually found a battle while I was doing that intro. Um, hopefully it's a good one. It looks like a good one, so we should be able to keep it in. Um, but yeah, I accidentally forgot to hit the record button when I did the original intro. But there's a Mega Salamence, Mega King is gone, Groudon, Evolve Thunderous, and Jumpluff. So, we got the two support Pokemon in Jumpluff and Thunderous. We got two Megas for options, and we have the two Restricted Mons. Uh, I see a lot of rock weakness uh, being in Salamence, Evolatol, Thunderous, and Jumpluff, and only one res- actually there's no resist because Groudon's part fire. So our only rock type po uh, user is- oh well, we have Virzion and we have Aegron. I think Aegron will do better here uh, just because there's a lot of flying types for Virzion, which isn't good. But Virzion also has close combat for the Kangaskhan, but again we can kind of deal with it. Um, we could go Cress. I think Crest might be good here. Crobat's also not a terrible option. But I like Crest better. So I'm going to go Crest. I'm going to go Agron. We're going to have Kyogre for that uh, that Groudon. We can also have Rayquaza. I did like Crobat. I did. Not going to lie. I think Crobat would have been good with Tailwind, Taunt, Super Fang. Uh, we could also Quick Guard the Jump Luff if it's trying to let... It doesn't have Prankster though. Does not prankster. We have to remember that it just has rage powder, which is the biggest problem. Salamence Evolatol is going to lead off their their team though, which is pretty good for us. Um, this way, well, Evolatol kind of destroys our poor Crest because uh, no matter what, a max attack Evolatol destroys a max defense Crest with a knockoff. Now that being said, it does have to have knockoff. It also has to go for it. <clears throat> and I don't want any of my other Pokemon to take that kind of damage, so I'm just going to Icy Wind here. And we're going to Mega Evolve Rock Slide on him. Because even though we are intimidated by one stage, it's still going to hurt. No Pokemon switch out. Salamence is going to Mega Evolve here. So he doesn't have Mega Kanga. That's always good. That's always good. I think our matchup's better against Salamence, especially with Aggron. Because uh, we resist all of his uh, dragon and flying type stab moves. Salamence typically don't carry uh, fire type moves anymore. So we see the hyper voice. Do we see a knockoff from Evolatol? We do. So that's going to mean Crest is gone. See ya, Crest. Sorry. Sorry. So uh, Crobat would have been better here. We could have got a Tailwind off. And it is Life Orb Evolatol. Let's see how much this Rock Slide is able to do. It's still going to bring the Evolatol down to about under half, but it is was a critical hit, so that does matter in the long run. But again, they're not really going to be able to do anything to my Aegron, so I almost want to just leave them in. And I almost wish I had Rock Tomb on this thing now, just for s extra speed control, <clears throat> but um, I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine... My opponent might uh, bring in a... So I'm going to Ice Beam this Salamence. He has knockoff, probably Sucker Punch on that Evolatol. Oh Are they going to double into my Kyogre or my Aegron? I think they're more worried about Kyogre, so I'm going to protect it. And then I'm going to Rock Slide again. See what we can do. I'm just really worried about Sucker Punch Double Edge into Kyogre, because that will take it out. We do see Sucker Punch. It is on the Kyogre. Salamence goes for Hyper Voice, so we would have most likely survived the turn. But that's just a lot less damage that Kyogre has to take, which is really nice. And we're going to get this Rock Slide off. Are we able to take Evolatol out from this range? That's the question. We are. So Evolatol is going to faint there. That's a big thing for us. 
For us, it's a big thing. We've only seen Hyper Voice from the Salamence, so I almost wonder if it doesn't have Double Edge. I could see Groudon coming in here. There's Groudon. wonder if it's what his last Pokemon is then. It might be Thundy. Thundy Scrundy. I'm not 100% on that. So, of course, Groudon's going to get its Primal Reversion off here. Almost expect Hyper Voice Precipice coming out here. Um, but all I'm going to do is Muddy Water. Yes, I said Muddy Water because Aegron is switching out into Rayquaza. Um, Rayquaza will take some damage from this Hyper Voice, obviously. Uh, but it won't take any damage from the Precipice Blades, which is nice. Now, if Groudon for some reason gets like really cheeky and wants to erupt, that's fine. That's fine. We'll eat those. We'll eat those, but I, I really do expect the Precipice Blades and the Hyper Voice. Oh, Salamis is going to double edge. That's not good. And it's in the Kyogre, too. Uh oh. If uh, Groudon outspeeds, we're in a pickle. And it doesn't outspeed. Does it connect? It does. Damn it. Damn it all. So Kyogre is in a faint without doing anything, which is not good. It's not good at all. I'm going to have to bring Agron back out here. I'm going to have to bring the Agron back out. No, I think at Sal I think we just lost here because of that now. Um I am gonna earthquake. I'm gonna Dragon Pulse Immense. If for by some god awful reason we outspeed. We don't outspeed, and he hits the Draco too. We're We're not focus sash. Damn it. If I just switch focus sash to Rayquaza like I had planned to. We would have gotten the Ments. Uh, we probably wouldn't have gotten the Groudon. Because... Oh, it carries both Precipice and Earth Power. Very interesting. My Aground's going to faint to that, obviously. So unfortunate there. Um, things we could have done differently. I should have went with Crobat, to be honest. Um, I really like the Icy Wind option from Crest, but him being able to lead with Evoltal on it then was really bad. Because we could have got Tailwind off, and we would have been looking a lot nicer. At least for a little bit. Crobat might have fainted at some point there um, pretty quickly, which actually would have been better for us at that point because then we could have brought in Kyogre and started killing things. But we're going to move on to the next battle, guys, and we'll see you in just a moment. All right, we do have somebody from Brazil. Kaka from Brazil. Okay. 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 So we have a Smeargle, Salomon, Xerneas, Kyogre, Flareon. And Mawile team, Mega Mawile. Um, so he has Mega Mance or Mega Mawile. He has Smeargle, he has Xerneas, he has uh, Kyogre and the Flareon, like I just told you. I don't know why I had to reiterate that. I don't know that Flareon. Flareon might get Wild Charge. That might be why Flareon's on the team. Would it be Choice Scarf Wild Charge, or would he just go normal Flareon Wild Charge? Or with, like, uh, Guts Boost. So it's possible that he wants to do that. Um, I think Crobat... Was a good lead. Agron might also be a good lead, but if he leads Mence and intimidates us again, I don't like that. I almost want to bring Verizon just for that Kyogre. But I think we can get around it without Verizion. I'm going to lead Ogre, actually. I'm going to lead Crobat Ogre. We're going to bring Agron. And Rayquay. Rayquay. Do I want to do that or do I want to bring Cress? I think Rayquaza is better. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. No Verizian. I don't know that Verizian ever showed up ever, to be honest. There was, like, I think Agron, because usually I choose between Verizian and Agron, um, and Agron's usually the better option, because they can take a lot more hits, and they can deal that damage. And usually when, we, when we've been seeing Ogres, there's a lot more um, pluses to bring Agron. So he's going to lead Mawile, Xerneas, both in pretty peculiar Pokeballs. I don't know that the Xerneas was in the right Pokeball, to be honest with you. He cheats! <laughs> That's fine, I do too. Um, not to that extent, where I just straight up gen the Pokemon, but... I do adapt my Pokemon to what they need to be at. So we do see the, the Mawile Xerneas, like I I think I stated, but I can't remember because I got off topic. Um, Mawile and Xerneas are going to lead, so double fairies here. So I'm just going to taunt... 
the Xerneas, and we're going to Muddy Water, and that should just do tons of damage to both Pokemon. Doesn't really have any switch-ins. Salamence and Kyogre are really his only two, but he's going to actually just Mega Evolve this Mawile. He's just going to Mega Evolve the little Mawile. So cute. So cute. So we're going to get the Taunt off on Xerneas. Does Xerneas go for a straight attack, though? That's the question. Nope, tried the Geomancy. So we get the Muddy Water. It is going to connect with both Pokemon. It's going to do a ton of damage and possible accuracy drops. It doesn't knock out the Mawile. Um, we do get the accuracy drop on the Mawile, though. And it still connects the play rough on Crobat, of all Pokemon. Um, you'd want an Iron Head Crobat? Because it's not resisted? So you would have brought me... You would actually hate owned me because I don't have Focus Sash. So, I mean, easy come, easy go. I'm going to Tailwind here. And we're going to go for another Muddy. We're going to go for another Muddy. Mawile is going to protect this turn, so I guess I could have just went straight for an Ice Beam or a Thunder to guarantee the uh, hit onto Xerneas. That's fine. I'm going to get the Tailwind off here. He was probably expecting me to just, like, I don't know what he was expecting, that he decided it would be better to play rough a Crobat. But Crobat's going to live from the uh, Dazzling Gleam as well, and we're going to get this Muddy Water off, and it will connect to Xerneas and knock it out. Nice. Noise. Uh, let's see what comes in here. Really, nothing can. He might have a uh, smear in the back. That's why he's trying to get rid of the Crobat at this point. But um, he's using resistant moves on it, so I don't entirely understand what's going on over there. But he's going to send out that Smeargle. He is going to send out that Smeargs. So I'm just going to taunt that thing, and then I'm just going to thunder them all while like guarantee the hit on it. Mawile is going to get the double protect, though. It is going to get the double protect, but I do get the taunt off on the Smeargle. Probably going for Dark Void here. Uh, Thunder is not going to connect, obviously, and Smeargle can't use Dark Void after the taunt. We're going to see the Moody Boost. What is it? Attack Raise, so it's useless, especially with that Special Defense drop. Not that it matters um, entirely. I'm just going to uh, Super Fang the Smeargle low in Muddy Water. In case he, s he switches out Smeargle... Uh, you're actually going to switch out the Mawile, of all things. Why would you do that? It's dead. He's going to bring in the Kyogre, though. Going to bring in the Ogre. And it is the Primal. Not Choice Scarfed. We have seen a couple Choice Scarfed Kyogres. Typically, it only happens with the Kyogre that it's not Primal. Actually, a Shiny Kyogre. Also illegal. Um, not that I haven't used Shiny Kyogre. Obviously, you guys have seen it on the channel. I don't hide that I use my shiny Kyogres and my shiny Groudons that aren't legal, but I only use them on Battle Spot, not in tournaments. Accuracy drop on the Ogre, too. Smear Girl's gonna faint. Um, I didn't see Tailwind go out here. I don't know that it does this turn. I think it's next turn. Right? Yeah, we still have a turn of Tailwind. So I'm just gonna Super Fang the Ogre in Muddy Water again. Mawile is going to protect again. I could have just thundered to Kyogre this turn. And I kind of wanted to. Just because I know that um, I can deal with Kyogre. So I'm not super worried about it. But I wanted to just go for the double hit here. Obviously not going to KO Kyogre. But we do get the accuracy drop. Goes for the origin pulse. Misses the Crobat. Misses the Ogre because of that accuracy drop. Very nice. Very nice. I like. I'm just going to Tailwind here. And protect, no reason to, um... Match is going to be forfeit anyway. But yeah, no reason to mess around with hoping we hit and all that nonsense and tomfoolery. So I'm just checking. Oh. Okay, um, I got more money. <laughs> I sold some Pokemon cards recently, so... Troll and Toad obviously sent them in two things. Because I actually sold Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. If you guys are looking to sell Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards, not this isn't sponsored at all. But go to Troll and Toad. They buy usually a lot of singles, and it's really easy to sell it to them. So go there, look for their buy list, download it. It's it's actually a really easy way to get extra money. But we are going to do one more battle. That one was pretty quick, and I do want to show it. Um, but I don't want to deprive you guys of of good content. So I'm going to look for another battle here and we'll be right back. Why did I just go? All right, we have an 1822 rated player from 
Austria. Blue. Okay, we're gonna get stomped here. Get ready for this. Okay, so he's got a Talonflame, a Groudon, a Xerneas, a Whimsicott, a Smeargle, and a Kangaskhan. That screams Crobat for me. The only thing we'll have to worry about is the Whimsicott uh, when it comes to Crobat. But aside from that, um, I think Aegron's a pretty good lead here. Uh, it does well against the Xerneas, the Talonflame, the... kind of the Kangaskhan. Um, not really the Groudon. So we'll bring Kyogre in the back for Groudon and Rayquaza again. Sorry, it's the same team over and over again. Uh, there is really no cry for Virizia on here. The only thing it does well against Stone Edge on Talonflame, uh, but it's going to get Brave Birded and die. Uh, well, it'll live on Focus Ash, but there's also Kangaskhan in close combat, Smeargle in close combat. I'd rather double kick Smeargles with, like I do with Therakion. But um, aside from that, like Xerneas destroys it, Groudon destroys it, Talonflame destroys it. Whimsicott can if it carries Moonblast, but typically they don't. Um, but yeah, I think Aegron's just better. We can... Uh, Iron Head, the Xerneas, we can uh, Rock Slide, the Talonflame, Earthquake, the uh, Groudon, and we'll usually live one hit from them. Usually. We see Kangama, which is Kangaskhan, and Elf... What was that called? <laughs> what was that Whimsicott called in Austrian? Or do they go off... Are, do they, is Austrian a language or is it just German? Let me know in the comment section below. But it is Elfun. Elfun. So like Elfun? But it's not English word, so I don't know. But anyway... We can see a taunt come from this Whimsicott. Um, I could just quick guard here. Or I can set up Tailwind. Or I could save the Scrobat. I don't necessarily have to save the Crobat for the uh, Xerneas. We have to save the A ground for the Xerneas is the big thing. Um, I'm going to Tailwind here. And I'm actually going to protect my A ground. I'm going to leave it normal A ground so he doesn't expect the Mega. He is going to Mega his Kangaskhan though. Does he double edge my Crobat, or does he just fake out my Aegron? Because my Aegron could demolish this poor little Whimsicott um, with Iron Head, and apparently they're working right outside my house now on the final on the gr grass whistle. Oh my God, it's getting loud. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. This I can't, but I can't stop this recording. It's an 18 rated player. We did see the Aegron. Okay, low kicked Aegron. Uh, the Kangaskhan. Sorry, we didn't see the Kangaskhan fake out, um, but we do see the Tailwind. So now I'm gonna quick guard. I forgot what the Whimsicott did. It tried to Grass Whistle. So this will also stop the Grass Whistles, which is really nice. I could Earthquake here, or I could Rock Slide, or I can just straight up Iron Head this Whimsicott. I'm going to Rock Slide. Uh, just to get spread damage. I could have went for Earthquake, which is probably a little bit safer. Um, because it's not Stab anymore, it would have done more damage as well. But we also have that chance to flinch, which is really nice. So I'm going to get the Quick Guard off. So we stop the Whimsicott from trying to Grass Whistle, of all things. He's going to try an Encore, but Quick Guard does stop us. Um, and he's going to low kick the Aegron, which is going to take less than 50 from that, which is really nice. Um, and then we're going to get our Rock Slide off. So we see that we don't outspeed either Pokemon, either even under Tailwind, which isn't great. So we kind of waste our turn with Tailwind there. But I'm going to Quick Guard again. I'm actually going to Iron Head the Whimsicott this time. I'm actually going to Iron Head it. I want to get rid of the Whimsicott. Um, the Kangaskhan we can deal with later, so I'm not super worried about it right now. He's going to actually helping hand the Kangaskhan this turn, so that's going to knock us out. That is going to knock us out, unfortunately, because we saw how much it did last time. Kangaskhan, here comes a low kick. I've not seen helping hand Whimsicott, which is really cool, um, but that is going to knock out our poor Aegron. So now we do have to worry about that, um, not the Ogre, the, uh, the other thing. The other thing, the um, the um, what am I worrying about? Xerneas. <laughs> Sorry, I completely just spaced because there's shovels outside my room and it's really annoying. Um, we're gonna get the primordial sea off though. We should outspeed this Kangaskhan. I could see Helping Hand Sucker Punch coming through here. Um, so I'm actually gonna Super Fang. Actually, no, wait. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Stop it. Um, quick guard stops Sucker Punch. So I'm just going to quick guard. And I'm going to... He has a Groudon. So I can't muddy water here. I'm going to Thunder... I'm going to Thunder the King's Gun. It's Groudon, isn't it? Dang it! I was really going to Ice Beam that spot, but I really expected Whimsicott to switch out into Groudon. <laughs> That's fine. It's not immensely fine. 
it's not immensely fine. We do get the quick guard. You're going to see Grass Whistle. Obviously not going to work. Thunder, unfortunate. Groudon. And Tailwind is going to peter out here. So I'm just going to Tailwind again. And protect. He could Encore me this turn into Quick Guard, expecting me to switch to Tailwind. I think I still have Mental Herb in play, so I don't think I have to worry about it right now. I do not think I have to worry about it right now. He's really calling for that though or like gra reaching for it though using grass whistle because it is 50 percent accurate and i don't see a gravity user on this team unless smeargle has gravity um i think xerneas also gets it but typically you're not going to see xerneas being the support pokemon because it's worrying about getting geomancy up he's going to try an encore he's going to try and encore the xerneas into um uh thunder and we're going to see the eruption from the groudon it is going to connect with crobat which i think knocks us out here yeah, it does. It does, it does, it does. And now we could see Whimsicott trying to encore Kyogre in a Protect, which is probably his best play. Or hers. Was it he or her? It was a he. It was a he from the sprite, at least. And now we're going to... Yeah, I could see Encore going into Xerneas. But all I'm going to do is Dragon Ascent, and I'm going to try and actually Protect. I'm going to try and get the double here. We're going to try and get the double here. That's really the only play we can go for, is stopping my opponent from encoring me into Protect. He's going to fail, so he's going to make me Protect next turn anyway. Which isn't good, because now Groudon just gets free reign on Kyogre. It actually has a berry to, to reduce the freaking... Oh my god. They're like pushing rocks outside and stuff, so this is probably just all going out the window, which is great. But uh, Koba Berry to uh, lower the damage done by flying type moves, which is strange. Probably Rock Slide here actually going to erupt. I think we survived that. We do. We do survive that. So um, I think Encore lasts for three turns, so we'd have to get Double Protect coming up here to be able to survive the turn. Uh, but we probably see King Gama come back in here. I'd assume. Um, uh, hopefully the equipment outside isn't just absolutely destroying this recording. So Xerneas is going to come out here. Xerneas, huh? So he's going to try and get a free Geomancy off on me. I'm just going to Dragon Ascent him, though. And, of course, we have to protect Kyogre because of Encore. I'm just going to try and Dragon Ascent him to death. I mean, it's not going to knock out. We're not Mega Rayquaza, and also, um, it just usually doesn't knock out as a Mega Rayquaza anyway, but, yeah, comes close, but not quite enough for the cigar. Um, Groudon, I assume, just erupts, takes out a Rayquaza here, just takes it out, and even if we're able to get all the protects off. Xerneas is getting a Geomancy here, and it's going to be able to get a... Oh, and the sun's up anyway, so we lost. We lost no matter what. So, where did we go wrong? Trying to Thunder. I mean, it, it didn't really matter in the long run. I would have only gotten an Ice Beam off. Um, that being said, had I Ice Beam the Whimsicott slot then we would have been really good. We would have been in a really good position because I could have just... Um, well, the following turn, I would have had to protect my... Um, I would have had to protect my Rayquaza and my Kyogre from the fake out from the King's Hound. Unless he brought in the Xerneas. Don't protect fails anyway, so... Moon, excuse me, Moonblast is just going to destroy it. And that's going to be the end of the game. So, hopefully... <laughs> that that recording didn't get destroyed from the from the rocks being pushed around. But thank you guys so much for joining me today, and uh, we'll see you next week with a new team. I have a few ideas, but if you guys have any ideas as well, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Stay sharp, everyone.